All right, all right, all right. We're back again. This time, we're going to talk about some other stocks. All right, you know we're talking about this because the clock is counting down, everyone. Everybody who's been holding Bitcoin for some time has been waiting for this having to come. All right? So we're like less than a week away now. Thank goodness. Okay, we're counting down. And you know, when the having happens, I know everybody thinks it's like New Year's Eve and like confetti supposed to fall from the sky or something. It doesn't. Nothing actually happens. If anything, the price probably goes lower. All right? But let's look at Bitcoin right now. All righty, so here we go. Back again. Miss Moneymaker talking about anything that moves. Bitcoin is dropping right now. So it's in this area. Wait, hold on. Let me just get my cursor. All righty, I have what I want here. Okay, we're in this area. So Bitcoin right now is at $63,666. Okay, so... You know, we're a week away. I mean, this is not the sexiest thing to be doing right now. But for the people who want a little bit more, it kind of is. But then again, it's not. You see this blue line up here? All right? And you see this blue line going over here? All right, so before, Bitcoin had this ascending triangle going, going on, right? So when it's an ascending triangle going on and everything, then it's a high, higher chance that it'll break to the upside. But that's not what it's doing. It's going down. Of course, Bitcoin will do what Bitcoin wants to do. That's one of the things I like about it, though, because it's not like it's, um, you know, like BlackRock is manipulating it every five minutes. Bitcoin will do what it wants to do. So right now, it's heading a little bit down. Will it stop here? Will this be the level? Or will it drop lower? If it drops lower, are we talking about a level like that? If we just go straight across, that's... Who wants to say 52,000? No one wants to say that right now, right? If we go further, will we go to this line or will we do something like that, right? So that's still like 50, 50 something, right? 48, 50. This orange line, that's a 200 day moving average. Okay, so is Bitcoin already starting a correction? Is it, is it coming down for the correction already right in front of the halving? I mean, the having look, it's it's just six days away. Like, would it do that? Doesn't it know it needs to show up? It's the um, the star of our show, you know? So I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do, but we just know that it will do what it wants to do. I wanted to make sure you know this is where we're at right now. Okay, now let's move on to Mara. Yes. Yes, baby, baby. Okay, you see her over here. Mara is down, look. We went through this level before. We came down, we, we uh, tested that. That was support before, prior support. Okay, she did this little thing above it, but then, soup, came down. She's on support, people. Mara is on support. And, okay, not just on support. You see this orange line, a 200-day moving average. So we love when, you know, like a couple things come together here. So... This is kind of nice. So will this price hold of $16.57, uh, $16 right? We're in front of the having. So now will people rotate into the Bitcoin stock? So will this be hot, like say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then start flying up? You see how it flew up the last time? It doesn't take Mara long, and that's what people like about it. See how fast that can go? So that's what people like about it. So I don't know when people will rotate into this, but clearly they can in front of the having. So what's the price prediction for Mara? All right, glad you asked me. So if Mara decides to start rocking and rolling, okay, now I'm already holding Mara from before, okay, so I've bought, sold, like don't even try to follow my cards. I bought, sold, and bought some more, right? So I already have. I will pick up some more down here in this area, okay? Now, before I even say the good part, oh, how high it can go, if we fail and we break below, come on, ladies and gentlemen, we got to be ready for how low can we go. Will we do that? I doubt it. Like, I mean, $8 levels, I mean, I doubt in front of the halving. But after the halving, can it sell off lower? 
uh, anything's possible. We'll see. That part, we don't have to try and predict. We'll all, we'll all see. All right? This part is we need to, because you could always put a stop loss under yourself. Okay? You could buy your stock, and you could put a stop loss to, um, to sell at a certain point. Okay? So if you're wrong, if the thesis is wrong. But you want to make sure, like, if you're going to buy, where are we going to? Now, you see, this is a comfortable level because it touched it this time, this time, and on this time. So one, two, three, three touches. So if you're, even if you're a little lower, like right around there, right? So a little bit under 30, you know you would be able to get some profit if you held to like say 28. Now, if we want to be all type of greedy and go all the way to the top, look at that. All right, 34, 35, 34, you know, so over in here. All right, so we see that. It did it before, I could do it again. But you remember, historical performance doesn't necessarily mean future performance, but we're looking at 30, uh, 34, 35. So that's what can happen. Would I hold all the way to that top? No, I wouldn't. Because what if it just shyly, because other people may, since the having is happening as well, right? Other people may say, oh, let me hurry up and sell before everybody sells, right? So I would definitely like start scaling out. You could start buying, I mean, sorry, selling a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, little, you know, like that, if it goes like that. Or say, let's just say this is the future. It would go sell a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Here we go, a little bit, little, something like that, if you want. All right? Like you partial out. That's what it's called, taking partials. All right, so now let's go to, let's see here, Mars Performance. All righty, we have a little outperform. Number nine, love it. Okay, so that's adorable with this uh, Bitcoin mining stock. All right, let's see. Now let's move on to our other star, CLSK. Welcome, welcome CL CLSK. Welcome, because you're up like some crazy percentage, like 500% or something for the year, some crazy number, okay? So this is the daily look right here. Are we on a support level? Is You know, look at that. I love when the pattern is so nice and clean. I'm not trying to fight to figure it out. Like right now, the Ford pattern uh, for the Ford um, car, you know, for Ford Automotive, that pattern is looking all kind of crazy. This, oh, yes, this is kind of, thank you, nice and easy. All right, so we know before it came down, touched, bounced off, bounced off, bounced off three times. Yes, very nice, very predictable. So will it do it again? It should, right? It should. Can it go a little lower? You know, sometimes they like to go a little lower to like shake out, shake out the weak hands, okay? They like to do that sometimes and then proceed. After, after you sell, because so you, you're so nervous, right? Then it proceeds to go up. Everybody who knows about that, write that in the comments, okay? They do that on purpose. Okay, so yes, it could hold and it could go up and return. You see, it went to this level before and then this level. So once again, you know, since the having, once the having happens, when is the having happening? Six days. So that's a short amount of time, right? So you could set a cell, okay, for this level, all right? So something around here, was that, 23? Hold on, just let me get this. Let me just go right around here, something like that. Just give me a second. 22. Okay, so 22, for everybody who doesn't see the number, around here, 2268. So you, you're not frustrated if it doesn't go all the way to 24. You don't have to sell your whole thing at 2268. You could just sell a little bit, okay? You could just sell a little bit and then a little bit and a little bit. Now, or will this thing just go like flying even higher because it's the having and all that? You don't know because the thing is we're more used to the Bitcoin havings now. More and more people know about it. Like as soon as you start hearing people in Starbucks and your hairdresser start talking about Bitcoin, you know a lot of people know about it. This is not like uh, you know secrets anymore. So these mining stocks... You know, people know about these things now. So, you know, we, we don't know how high it'll go before people start selling, okay? 
So, but this is something to know. I want you to see this level here. Know that this is a support, right? If it breaks here, yes, it will. It will go down. If it breaks, I mean, maybe. Nothing's guaranteed. Will it drop to here? $8, right? We don't know. But I wanted to make sure you knew. Look at this stuff. Oh, my God. Ay, ay, ay. Baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Get up on this, right? Ooh, baby, baby. Okay, if you know the song I'm singing, write it in the comments below. Because I love that. Right. Okay, let's move on. We have to keep going. Don't want to take too long. The Bitcoin haven't already came and passed, right? Okay, this is Riot. Another Bitcoin mining stock, right? Okay, so pattern. Okay, this was support over here. Did the same thing, similar to the Mara uh, stock chart. But you see here, what did it do? It came to the support and it broke through. So this is why some people are like, oh, when I was talking about Neo's chart before and I was saying, guys, it can go lower. You can't just assume that it's going to touch down to that dollar level that it was at and just bounce up and go. This is why I always like to say, I have, you have to make up your own mind, right? I'll say the bull scenario, but I have to say the bear scenario, okay? Because a lot of people just always want to say the bull scenario of, oh, yeah, everything's going to go up because they want to make people happy. Mm -mm. I have to protect my audience, and I have to make sure you know both sides. This can go down. And, so, and that's what Riot did. It went down further. So now you see this level over here? Okay? So that's what can happen. So let me just draw a trend line real quick. All righty. So if it happens, what level are we at? We're kind of at $8.71 if that happens. $8.71. Okay? Like 71.72. Okay, so let's just say seven, eight dollars and seventy cents. That's where we would be if it, if it kept uh, going down. If it broke lower than that, then I need to make another video because I don't want to scale back in time. You know, let's just we're just gonna have to make another video because we we have to go back in time. But right now, that's the next level, and then the having is here, so we could you know we could break up, but just be careful. So since we don't know what's gonna happen, right? You could set, set a stop loss under here, some kind of, so you don't just go all the way down, okay, and lose all your money. You could just set a sell, like, oh, if it drops, wherever you feel you're wrong, if it goes this long, low, then I'm wrong. But you never know, sometimes they like to fake people out, and then, so it's up to you. You got to do your homework, do your homework. All righty, so let's see. We talked about Bitcoin, okay, consolidating right there at this level, okay, $64,000, okay. We talked about Mara. If you like this content, please click like and subscribe, all right. And then we talked about CLSK. So let's see, one, two, three, and right is four. Okay, so we got four done. I think that's enough. We don't want to make the videos too long. One of the 